empty the gray tanks, empty the septic, and we're out of water. And you'd have a really smelly cinder. And give the dog a bath. Stay tuned. Cinder. Hi, I'm Rob. Hi, I'm Sherry. And this is our cat, Lily. This is Cinder. We've got the truck. We've got the trailer. And we're ready for our RV travel class. Good morning, RV travel buddies. Today, we are still boondocking. So, one of the nice things about doing what we're doing is we can change our mind. So, what we've noticed is we kind of really like this place. So, you can see I still got the ocean in the background. And it's just been really pleasant here. And, uh... We are sustaining boondocking a lot better than I thought we would. So, what we're going to do is, uh, we've been here a few days, we're getting kind of low on water, and we need to replenish and, and dump the tanks. So just down the road is a campground, and uh, we thought we'd just go down there, dump the tanks, refill the water, move the RV a little farther down, and see if I come down here a little bit and move a little bit closer to it's hard to see with this camera way in the background is uh, the casino and we want to get a little bit closer to their internet connection so we're gonna put our RV um, I don't know, another 500 yards closer to their building so we can pick up their uh, internet a little stronger so to get ready it won't take much we don't have any hoses out we're going to uh, <laughs> just kind of put things in temporary places since we're going to be coming right back I'm going to lubricate the slides again because they've been a little squeaky and I think it's because we're sitting for four months in one place and uh, <clears throat> just take the rig over uh, power wise we've been doing good we uh, run the generator for about an hour in the morning and then uh, Seems to replenish the batteries just fine. Solar uh, kind of takes a care of it, the rest of it, during the day. Cinder, the other thing we like about this place is Cinder uh, can play and be free. And when we let her out, we don't even have to use her leash. So we're kind of spoiled. So we're not in a real hurry to leave this place. So uh, we're going to kind of go through the process with you of taking the RV over to replenish and dump the tanks. So that's our subject today. One of the things I do on a regular basis is I hit my slides to tracks with this uh, slide out dry lube. Uh, we got this at Camping World. Pretty easy to apply, just get under there, hit the uh, tracks, and uh, it just, it's a good idea. And it's a dry lube, so it doesn't pick up the dust and dirt. So it's a good lubrication for it. So I would suggest doing that regularly for your slides. One more thing I like to use on our slides, uh, I'm not going to be able to get the top of the RV, I'm going to get the sides, is the rubber. I use a heavy duty silicone, it helps protect them um, and also lubricate them so they, the slides work a little better on them. So anyway, I'm going to hit all my rubber seams along the slides that I can reach for today. So always a good idea to do that stuff. I probably do it too much, but I'd rather do it too much than too little. So, here we go. Our next trick here is we're going to pull the slides in. I thought it would be kind of interesting to show you what it looked like with the slides coming in from the inside. So, carries up the panel right here. 
and we're gonna bring them in. As soon as that one finishes, we have four slides. I'll bring it around here. Kitchen is now coming in. And then the two slides in the very back will start coming in. And we kind of watch these carefully, make sure we didn't have anything in the way. And suddenly our fifth wheel is getting a lot smaller. And you see we store our printer on the chair, it's nice and soft. You can see we got our slides all in now and the next thing we do now is we have the automatic uh, retractors and I'll show you how you do that. So this is where our automatic retractors are at. So that's right here. I'm going to turn the power on. I have power on. I have six retractors. And so what I do first is I do a uh, retract first which will bring up four in the, um, in the back but the same one in the front will go down low but it won't come off the ground and then the next thing I do after that is adjust it upward to be high enough for the truck to get under it and I don't do this while the truck is here because this will lower and if your truck was under there it might actually damage the truck so here we go there it goes all right so now they're going start to do their thing Lower ones will go all the way down. Now my back ones are coming up. So my next step is, now that it's at its lowest point, is I need to bring the front up so I can bring the truck underneath there. So, so now I'm bringing the nose up. High enough for the truck to go underneath it. I'm going to assume I'm close. So I'm going to do the truck now. Now I'm lowering the uh, tongue down to, uh, or the pinball into our hitch. So what I tried to do is get a quarter inch above the metal and then I'll back into it. things we do before we pull is we pulled our, up all of our boards check our locks we'll check the do a uh, check make sure we're connected okay but most important we do a walk around and I do one and so does Sherry so I'm not going to show you how we do a walk around but we're checking our slides checking all of our, our uh, little doors and stuff like this one's unlocked so I need to get that locked up so little things check your slides check everything check your windows antennas antennas yeah mostly the antenna that's everybody forgets that one so we're gonna stop right here and then we're gonna take you over to the campground where we're gonna dump our tanks and get some more water and give Cinder a bath because she rolled in some Mickey stuff uh, I did mention one more thing we do a walk around check everything the important thing also nowadays is shut off your gas and turn off all your gas stuff. 
So if you got a refrigerator, all that stuff, it's not recommended that you drive with those on. So put some cold packs in your refrigerator. Be safe. Uh, so we shut off our gas. Uh, we're going to do a, a pin check here for the hitch. And then we're also going to check our lights. Um, all systems are off. All doors are locked. Just can't be safe enough. So here we go. the uh, campground we're using their dump station we're gonna fill up with water we do have fresh water over here to hook up to to put water in our tanks and then we're gonna go right back to where we were so I'm not gonna leave show everything we're doing here but we're dumping our black tank first then we're gonna fill the black tank flush it one more time and then we're done with that and then we're gonna empty the gray tanks just clean out the tube and then fill up our tank so that, con that concludes this. So, uh, what we didn't tell you is Cinder rolled in some dead clams. <laughs> so she doesn't smell very good. So while we're here, we're going to give her a bath. So we're going to torture her. So here we go. Better shake off as much as possible. Stay with me. Good girl. So that's how you get your dog clean when you're boondogging. <laughs> She's all shiny now. We got the uh, RV back to a new spot. We came a little closer to the main uh, casino so we get that. But we thought we'd check the tire pressure on all, both, uh, both tires on the fifth wheel. They're supposed to be at 80 pounds when they're cold. Uh, we're using our new Bayer compressor and we're taking them up to 77.5 and uh i think we've mastered this so it's a pretty easy process this is our by, by air and we're using an electronic uh new electronic digital, digital <laughs> pressure gauge and sherry's going to check it and take the thing off and it's freezing and it's freezing Check our pressure now. Seventy-seven. Seventy-seven. Bomber. We're off by 0.5. We did get them all set at seventy-seven 
7.5. Well, that wraps up our day today for uh, getting all of our water, giving the cinder a bath, checking the pressure on our tires, checking the slides, lubricating the slides. Now it's time for lunch. So we uh, actually cooked a turkey, so we're making turkey sandwiches today. We'll probably have turkey sandwiches for a couple of days. But we want to thank you for watching our channel. Thank you for liking us. Please share our videos. And until next time, bye.